Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of different types of dog ears using either yarn or roving. So as you know, the dog's ears is what gives it so much character and this one is floppy ears, this one's kind of rounded ears, this one has pointy ears, this one has tiny little floppy ears, same as this one. So and you might just only have yarn that you're working with or you'll have yarn and roving. So totally up to you. We can achieve both floppy ears and pointy ears or curved ears using either material. So what you'll need is either yarn, um, you know, plied or not plied or roving. And of course your felt needle, your foam. And then it's handy to actually have a loom tool as well. And then also sharp scissors to have around. Sharp scissors are great for trimming um, your ears to make them pointy. So let's first start with doing um, roving ears. So using roving, I am going to make these types of ears. Let me actually move this so that this is a little bit center. I'm going to make these types of ears. So it's going to be pointy ears, but we're going to start first with the curve and it'll just show you how to transform it. So basically I just have this. I don't even shape it that much. I shape it to a general shape of what I want but it's really the way you felt it that's going to make it into a triangle like this so what I like to do is see how this is beginning to be a triangle okay so I just work it like this roving felt up extremely fast as you know it's really really easy to work with and once you felt it a little bit, just make sure you remove it and then start felting it again. You don't want to go too long without pulling it off the foam because otherwise it's just sometimes get embedded into the foam and it becomes a little bit harder to take out. And I'll provide a link also on how to make um, the pom-pom dogs. Okay, that's good. I like to actually felt the back as well, and this is an opportunity that I'm going to use the tip of my felting needle to, you know, kind of pile on any stragglers. Oh, one thing I actually want to recommend is that you might have a leather thimble. I recommend using it so that it you don't end up poking yourself. Um, I'm going pretty slow. Oops, wow, my needle just fell out. Um, I'm going pretty slow and I'm working pretty carefully, so I'm not going to use it. So it's up to you, but I do recommend it if you tend to, if you're new with this or, you know, you feel like you might end up poking yourself. I'm going pretty slow and pretty gently, but when it does poke you, it does hurt. Just a warning. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a triangle so keeping in mind that if you're doing a curve it's the same concept you just want to begin to shape it like this and if you're working in a floppy ear you also just want to you know begin to poke and shape and guide the direction of the roving okay if you want any type of like just kind of more depth and detail you want to add a little bit of color go ahead and just tuck it in here like this one, do you see I have a little bit of that brown in here as well, just adds detail. Now what I like to do, if you're working on pointy ears, I actually like to use scissors because felting will never get your ears to be that pointy. I've tried so many times and it didn't work. So all you do is just compare them up and then there you have it. And then the bottom, you can trim up to fit or you could just, you know, tuck it in as you put them on the dog itself. So I'll, again, link the video so that you can see how to felt your ears onto the dog. Okay? Awesome. Now, if you only have yarn left and you're just working with yarn, um, let me show you. This is not, you know, this is just like a single, not even ply, just spun. I like to have my loom tool because I like to use it like this so I just went three revolutions around and this is going to be floppy ears okay and it's really handy just to have it like that and it's ready to go and now I just felt it working and felting 
One tip real fast, if you're making little ones like this, you could use this end of the tool if you have this model, or you just use your fingers and go like this. You might want to go like seven times since this, this yarn or 10 times, whichever, depending on the yarn is a little bit thinner. So, and then you just do everything the same as this. So you just start felting. And this is so easy. So those are the, the two alternatives that you have in terms of working with your ears and how to form them. And again, same technique, same concept. Once you felt it several times, pull it up, felt a little bit more, turn it to the back, felt it again, and just continue to felt it until you feel like it's at the look as well as the firmness that you want. Remember that the more you poke it, felt it, the kind of more clumped up it will become. And one tip too, if your ear turns out to be too long, you could just cut off the top of it as you um, attach it to the dog. You could even trim it as well, so it's totally up to you. With shaggy ears, um, I find, or floppy ears, I find that dogs tend to have like a more organic looking ear. So, you know, like the fuzz and like the unevenness is, just looks really, really natural. And this is it. So this is looking pretty good. I might end up felting it a little bit more, but that's all there is to the different types of ears that you might want for a dog. It's just so cute and it's such a huge part of their character. Oh, one thing. So somebody did ask me, how did I get this like curve in the ear for some of my dogs? All I do is I, let's take this example. All you have to do is actually curve your ear at the bottom like this in, and then you're gonna felt the ends together. Okay, see how I'm doing this? The ears is up here. So just only do it at the bottom. And what will happen is that the ears will become like this. They're kind of glued together and so it has a little bit of curve and that looks so cute. And then when you're ready to put it on a dog, you just felt it on as you would any, any other ears. And that's it. If you have any questions, DM us on our Instagram or um, put a comment at the bottom. And that's it. Enjoy guys, bye.